Okay, so with your default emails, it's important that you start off editing here, go through all of the emails, give them a message that will suit all of your membership types. But at that point, you might decide that some of your membership types might need a special message or a tailored message uh, based on their specific needs. That's fine, but first of all, the default emails need to be edited. Once you've done that, click on your membership types and this is of course still in the membership setup area and go through and choose the membership type that you think needs its own specific email messages. So click on that type and with the uh, controls for that particular membership one of them is a, a tab called emails. Now it's the emails tab that has a list. Now you'll recognize this list. It looks virtually identical to the one that we've been in. In fact, do you pick the difference? There's one extra column. You may have noticed it's the last column which is called modified. Now the fact that in this modified column everything there says default tells me that this membership type is using precisely what's in the default emails. It's not deviating from that. But let's say you want to uh, tweak this, tweak one or more of the messages. So I'll just choose um, uh, this one, uh, user applied for membership renewal with a live payment. Okay, it doesn't really matter which one. Uh, basically, same template, okay, that you can use. And of course, you would go in and edit this. Okay, so I'm just going to add a line. Um, we are pleased that you have uh, renewed with us. Okay, and I'll copy that. Now, of course, I'm going to save the changes on this tab and then on my uh, plain text body tab, I will add the same line and save that. Okay, and so uh, I'll notice also there's a button here, revert to default. So at any time you can click on that if you don't like the changes that you've made. All right, so now looking at this list, you'll clearly see the third email, which is the one that we were editing, instead of default, it's reading custom in the modified column, meaning we have a custom email in place for this particular email, not the default email. But if I don't like it, I can click revert to default. And as soon as I've done that, I don't even need to click save, it will revert back to the default. So it's really good to know that for any of your membership types, for any of the emails, you are able to modify the default email to a custom version, but don't forget all edits in order to save you time. First of all, edit your default emails and then leverage from that in the individual uh, emails that differ.